So Darren, one of the things we hear a lot uh, in the arts and culture field is this, this idea of uh, what are the right metrics, what's measurable. And so, for example, measuring butts and seats is pretty easy, measuring the number of students who have gone through an educational um, activity is easy, but when it comes to um, my play, what is the impact of my play, uh, I, I kind of throw up my hands, I don't know what to do. What, how do you work in that area? So I think it, it boils down to what is the impact that you want to see, right? And so if the impact is that you may want to uh, see like increased quality of life of the people who've attended your play, right? And so you want them to, you know, have a sense of joy and feel good and like things like that. A really quick survey is very easy to implement. And there are a number of quality of life measures already out there. So the thing that you really want to think about and keep in mind is that there's no reason to reinvent the wheel if you don't have to. So think about what is it that I want to know. If quality of life is what I want to know, if that's the intended um, outcome or impact of the play, a really quick Google search will help you find a number of quality of life measures that you can probably intimate, um, implement very quickly with a short survey. And you can do that, you know, maybe right after the participants or um, the audience members leave the play, just at the door, you know, ask them to, you know, fill out these quick surveys. You can place them on the seats when they, and, and they're already there when they enter. And then you can just place, um, you know, it in the, um, in the program, and it could just be a quick survey with a self-addressed envelope that they can just, you know, fill out at their leisure and throw it in the mail once they're done. That's great. And we're always looking for reasons to follow up. It's something you certainly, in most cases, have email addresses. You could certainly follow up with that. Absolutely. Well. Great. Perfect.